And now, your East Texas Storm Team forecast. Welcome back to East Texas Live. We're tossing things over to meteorologist Andrew Samet for a look at the forecast. And looking pretty blue behind you in Longview, Andrew. Yeah, we're seeing some bright blue skies right now across uh, the area, but clouds are developing in deep east Texas right now. And we will see an increase in cloud cover as we head into the early afternoon. But right now in Longview, not much in the way of cloud cover out there. Temperature right now is 93 degrees with an east north or north northeast wind at three miles per hour. And the dew point is up to 70 degrees, indicating that the air is quite humid. Temperature wise around the rest of the area, we're in the middle 90s, uh, especially into deep east Texas. 96 right now in Jacksonville, 94 in Lufkin. 93 in Crockett and Palestine. It is 93 in Mineola and Sulphur Springs. Dew points are in the upper 60s to low to mid 70s, so it is a humid one out there. You'll certainly feel that as you step out the door. Factoring in the humidity with the air temperature, this is what it feels like out there. It feels like 104 right now in Lufkin. Feels like 100 in Nacogdoches. Feels like 100 right now uh, in a Tyler. So certainly want to have that lunch indoors as you head out and about for your lunch break today. But temperatures will climb up to 102. We'll see a heat index between 105 and 110 this afternoon. So uh, it's going to be another hot day despite clouds on the increase in the afternoon. We'll see about a 30% chance of a shower or storm. So most of us are going to be dry, but there's at least a chance now of some uh, thunderstorms developing later on this afternoon. We'll see an east wind today at 10 miles per hour. Here's a look what Futurecast has. You can see clouds uh, really start to increase towards 2, 3 o'clock this afternoon. Uh, that's when we'll start to see some bubble up showers and the thunderstorms. You can see Futurecast does not have too much in the way of activity. I think we may see more coverage than what Futurecast is showing, though. Uh, but again, it will just be very scattered in nature, so not everyone's going to get in on on the rainfall today, and I think there is a slightly better chance south of Interstate 20 to see some raindrops for our day today. But overall, uh, nothing uh, to significantly put a dent in the drought. But as we head into your Thursday afternoon, we may see some better coverage of showers and uh, thunderstorms out there. You can see some widespread activity developing on Futurecast as we head towards your 3 o'clock hour. You can see some more showers and storms pushing on through. Again, this is for Thursday, and then we'll see uh, continue to see some showers and storms through the early evening on Thursday as well before we dry out Thursday night into your day on a Friday. Taking a look at latest burn bans in effect, Camp County has now been added. So uh, almost all of our counties underneath that burn ban except for Titus and Franklin counties. So again, outdoor burning not allowed in the red counties. Titus and Franklin, I would advise to really use extreme caution. Again, we still have that severe drought from Longview, including Tyler, Mineola, towards Athens, and northern portions of Anderson County. So we continue to need the rain out there. We will see some rain chances for the next couple of days. Wednesday and Thursday, we see a chance for some isolated showers and a thunderstorms, and then we dry things out. Heading into the weekend with additional storm chances returning for the day on Monday. Overall, though, temperatures still staying quite warm above Average for this time of year. For Deep East Texas, it is better rain chances heading into your day on Thursday, and we'll even see a chance for some isolated showers on Friday as well. Saturday and Sunday will be dry with highs in the upper 90s, and then rain chances will return again heading into Monday and Tuesday with high temperatures in the middle to upper 90s across Deep East Texas.